All right, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here and uh, bringing you again the uh, comparison video and my impressions of the Xbox One controller. Um, I, earlier I did it, uh, the unboxing and everything, but it was on a black background, uh, which that was not the issue. Yes, it made it a little bit more difficult, uh, at least somewhat, but the main issue was the fact that my camera was set on a, like a, uh, a lower light setting to where it lets in less light and everything. Uh, into the camera lens, uh, so that really messed up the whole brightness of the film. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. This time I'm directly underneath the light, fix the camera settings, so we have a lot more light here uh, to be able to see this. Um, but yeah, so the first thing that I'm gonna be talking about is the comparison between the uh, 360 controller and the Xbox One controller. Um, one thing that you immediately notice uh, of course is this little top part on the Xbox One controller right here. Um, that top part is added where the guide button is up there and it's no longer in between the two things like here on the 360 controller. Uh, so, you know, personally I kind of like the way that looks. Uh, it, you know, has a little bit less crowding around this area and stuff. So, you know, I like that a lot. A lot of people are also asking, um, a lot of people were asking that is this a touch sensitive button? And no, it's not. It's actually just a normal button. Uh, so you're not gonna accidentally, you know, brush your finger over it and then I'll immediately we'll go back to the guide and stuff. So you can push the button and if you notice there, it lights up. Of course, I don't have an Xbox One, so it won't connect to anything. It'll just keep blinking. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. It looks real pretty. Uh, another thing that I noticed, uh, whenever you're holding the controller and stuff, I noticed that, you know, the joysticks are a lot smaller than the 360s version joysticks. Personally, I do not like that because um, I have big hands, um, so I like the bigger joysticks, but it's not really that big of a deal. I understand why they did it because they, you know, a younger demographic and everything like that, but it's not really that big of a deal. It's just joysticks. You could still push the joysticks and everything just fine, you know, click them down and stuff. Another thing I really like is the Xbox One's um, D-pad here. If you notice, it will click here. I'll try to raise it up to the camera so you can listen. Personally, I really like that. I love the way it clicks on there. Um, it's not uh, as, I guess, loose as the 360s version. So whenever you know you hit stuff, it kind of, if you hit to the left on the 360, if you don't hit it directly to the left, it may actually go down or up. Um, so this version where it's like this, you just hit it straight to the left. It will go to the left. You can feel that click and everything so you know you're hitting the right button and stuff, so I really like that. Um, but one thing that I also really enjoy about the Xbox One is the curvature of the, um, uh, what do you want to call it, the triggers and stuff. So if you notice, the triggers are a little more curved. Here, I'll move that controller so it won't be black background like a mistake like last time. Uh, if you see the curvature of that, um, here I'll try to show the other one if I can get it directly camera see how it's a totally it's way more curved than the uh, 360 version uh, which I personally like that a lot better so that means you know whenever you're holding in you're holding your you know fingers right there if they won't slide off which I don't know why they would anyways but still it kind of holds your finger in place a lot better and I love the way the triggers feel whenever you're pushing them down they have a little bit of a resistance um, it feels very smooth and of course the triggers on the Xbox one will have the uh, force feedback or whatever you want to call it, the you know, rumble feedback feature uh, on there. So whenever you're, you know, shooting a sniper rifle, um, you know, it'll have a different rumble than if you're shooting an assault rifle or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, of course, guys, the back of the Xbox One controller is totally flat. If you notice right there, completely flat. It is a very nice feature because I love it whenever I'm holding it. Uh, no longer will this get in my way you know whenever you're holding it this gets majorly in your way right there a big old clunky battery pack thing um, so I really like having the smooth it just feels overall just feels really good whenever you're holding on to it um, it looks really nice here I'll try to spin around see so you can move your fingers freely right there uh, another thing that I did notice about the Xbox one controller is that there are no screw holes and everything it's completely smooth all the way down the side and stuff that just has a small little crack right there, uh, which of course they have to have some way of opening it up, but you know, you don't even feel that small little crack whenever you're holding it. 
uh, but no more screw holes. And if you're confused about what, if you've never really noticed the screw holes, here I'll show you the 360, see those screw holes? I don't know if you could see them. Um, yeah, you could kind of see them right there. Uh, but yeah, so you know, there's two screw holes on each side. And that's, it's not really that big of a deal, but it's just a little bit more comfortable. And it's just, you know, very well made. Um, I do like the bumpers and stuff. They're very, they feel really nice whenever you're pressing them. So they did a really good job with that. The buttons are really nice. I noticed they aren't as prominent as the 360 ones. The 360 ones kind of stick up a lot. Um, these, they don't stick up a lot. They just, uh, they're fairly just, you know, flat on there. Uh, it, has, it sticks up just a little bit, but you know, it feels really nice on there. And of course it has these buttons right here. Um, dang it, what are they called? I said in the other video, or I mean, I put in the other video. One of them is menu. The other one is, I forget what it is. Um, but I'll, again, I'll put it up in the, uh, uh, over the video whenever we do this, um, like whenever I'm editing this and stuff. So, but yeah, so it's overall, it's a great controller. I think they upgraded, uh, you know, compared to the 360 controller, which is pretty much the, you know, best controller ever to come out. Uh, and this one is much better. Like it feels a lot better, everything fits in your hands better. The, this part right here of the controller kind of bumps out a little bit more, so it fits in your palm whenever you're holding it. it fits in your palm really well. Um, I don't know if y'all can really see how it kind of bumps out and stuff, but uh, it fits in your palm really nicely. I really love the way it feels. I did a really good job with that. Um, but yeah, so here is of course the uh, micro USB. I don't know if you're able to really see that uh, micro USB thing right there at the top. The battery pack will be going in right here. I have the, I got the plain charge kit. Um, so it comes with a little plain charge battery pack uh, there. So, yep, you know, simply just snap that back on. And of course, and then here's a little connection there at the bottom. Uh, so it's overall, it's really awesome. I really enjoy this controller. Um, definitely really good. Uh, job by Microsoft on creating a better controller than the 360s, which was already an amazing controller. Um, right here is the play and charge little USB, micro USB plug-in. A lot of people were asking in my last video if you can play with this controller on the PC, um, and no you cannot. Uh, that doesn't mean other Xbox One controllers won't. I did notice whenever I tried to play on my 360 controller with the um, what do you call it, with the uh, plug and play, because I do have a plug and play, uh, you know, for the 360. I noticed the plug and play controllers will not work on the PC for the 360, at least mine didn't. Uh, so that may be the issue with these. Um, you, you know, you can't use a plug and play. I don't know what's the difference or anything like that, but uh, you might not, you know, uh, you're not able to use it on the PC, at least with the Xbox One. Uh, now, with the normal controllers that are wireless, and you know or you can just plug them in and stuff with a micro usb and stuff those might work on pc i don't really know but uh, we're gonna have to wait that's one thing i will test whenever i um you know get my xbox one and stuff i will go ahead and test that uh, another thing that i wanted to say uh was you cannot connect this controller to the xbox 360 people were asking me that also can you connect it to the xbox 360 and no you cannot connect it to the 360 um, so this is strictly just Xbox One, which it makes sense that they would only make it for the Xbox One. Uh, but yeah, so guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to leak a like, leak a like? Well, you can leak one too. Um, but leave a like and a favorite and also subscribe uh, for more content and the Xbox One unboxing and stuff. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you all next time. Later guys.